He's been thinking outside, inside, and beside the box, and before you even knew there was a box. Who is this Euclidean geometrist nightmare? Why, it's Dr. Wahiesel, who, with Advic Goose, is always in need of some parcel tape. Last time, the Doctor needed some spares to fix his damaged Weezdis time spacecraft, set course for the ancient and vast Shoppington's department store. But will the greatest store in the universe have what he need, or have we discounted? Ha! Ah, the chance for danger in part two of The Terrifying Customer's Journey. Attention, all valued Shoppington customers and client parts. Don't forget to check out our organic produce sector. All the very tastiest of treats from across the cosmos. From our shelves straight to your digestive systems. Right, Advec, we're all set. Uh, you know where you're going? Yes, I need to take this transport tube to sector LB12 printed literature. Oh, I do hope they've got a first edition of Euclid's The Thirteen Books of the Elements. I've wanted one well, ever since I first heard about mathematics. Nerd! Anyway, I need to go to this green sector place. Okay, I uh, guess I'll see you later, then. Don't sound so down in the mouth, Doctor. It's not like we're saying goodbye forever. A spot of shopping, and then we'll meet up for two crumpets in that organic produce sector. Yummy! Right. Crumpets. Tea. Organic produce. Ah, uh, yeah. Cheerio! Are we seeing you, Doctor? Hey, there's no buttons in here. How does this lousy lift work? Hmm, maybe I need you in my sonic toothbrush on that panel over there. You pull that toothbrush out of your pocket, pal, and I'll stick it somewhere you'll regret. Oh, great, it's one of those artificially intelligent lifts. Okay, tin box, take me to green sector, area 47, sharpish like. There's no need for your bleeding cheek, Wash. We'll get there just as fast as I feel like going. Okay, don't blow a diode, you jumped up excuse for a bucket on a string. Hang on, I... were there already? I am so sorry I doubted your prowess, Mr. Lifty. We're not there, chummy. I've stopped until you take back what you just said. And for the record, it's actually Moose, sapient intraspatial transport robot. Sapient intraspatial transport robot? Sister? Oh, brother. Okay, Ms. Sister, I am so, so sorry for what I said. Now can you actually do your job and stow the flipping attitude? I got enough of that from that goose without copping it in the neck from a glorified funfair ride. Ah, uh, the lights appear to have gone off now? And the air too? <laughs> oh, thank goodness she didn't muck around with the artificial gravity. Oh no! Where's the emergency button? Go to my coil manager! Oh, I am sorry, sir. The emergency alert system appears to be offline. Let me check the backup. Yes, sorry again. Looks like someone turned that off too. Me. Ha. Stick that in your organic lungs and smoke it, vermin. Ah, uh, mine. Why do people keep getting that wrong? It's not that difficult. I do hope our Vic's having more luck. Hello, Lift. Do you think you could take me to the book section of the shop, if that's not too much trouble? Certainly, sir. We will be there presently. Allow me to extend the lift seating so you may enjoy a most pleasant trip. <sighs> oh, I do love Shoppington's. Such a classy place. I hope we never leave. Well, I think I might well see my way clear to making your wishes a reality. <laughs> it will be so easy to vent your transport tube into the heart of the black hole right now. All it would take would be the press of this single red button. And I know, despite his bluster, that your death would hurt the Doctor immeasurably. But that would be too easy a revenge. Far, far easier than you deserve. Mr. Starter, sir. Sister 453 reports a power outage. I have run a diagnostic and it appears the transport tube's AI has decided to take offense at the consumer's comments. 
47, why are you bothering me with this triviality? Override or reboot her systems, it makes no difference to me. We should have overhauled that particular tube decades ago. I only ask, sir, as the consumer is the other organic being you requested we closely monitor. The doctor? Let me see. Right, Miss Sister. You've got until the count of ten, and then I'm going to... I'm going to... flail my arms around in zero gravity! It appears the customer is in some considerable difficulty, Mr. Starter. I estimate he will have exhausted the capsule's air supply in three minutes. You'd think, wouldn't you, 47, but his damned respiratory bypass system means he'll be fine for a few hours at least. Oh, I guess I'd better intervene all the same. After all, Doctor, I wouldn't want you to suffer such an ignoble demise. Transport tube AI rebooted. Resuming normal transport. Doctor, once our sport is complete, I will relish revealing that without my intervention you would have barely made it off the starting line. But now, once more, for the final time, the game is afoot. Indeed, sir. I shall alert the staff of his imminent arrival. Thank you for travelling with me. It has been a pleasure to convey you. Yeah, alright. I say someone rebooted your systems right to get nasty. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, let's see. Spaceship spares, spaceship spares. Ah, there you are. A real pleasure, you miserable phony. Right then. Ah, this place is huge. So much choice is confusing. Where do I start? This place feels like my waist is. It's so much bigger on the inside than I thought. Uh, hello? Hello? Is there anyone who can help out a poor, confused shopper with a solid credit line in need of many fluid links? Good day, consumer. My name is Flamingo, Shoppington Sector Commander. I believe one of our store juniors might be available to assist you. Mr. Teflon, are you free? Free. Free. Do I look like I'm free, Commander Flamingo? I've been rushed off my feet all week. And that was my last chance I had to have a nice sit-down of a nice refreshing Zeta 8. Mr. Teflon, need I remind you that dear, dear Mr. Starter would not be pleased with that attitude. And neither, young man, am I. Hop to it or you know the consequences. <sighs> In that case, Commander, yes, I am free. Will Mr. Teflon be able to deal with such a slippery customer? Will the doctor find all the spare parts he's looking for, or will he end up at a loose end? And will Abvik regret checking out all those books? Who knows, and frankly, I'm out of stock for puns now, until part three of Dr. Weasel and the terrifying customer's journey. Dr. Weasel is a Weasel Tele-Audio Enterprise production, starring Randolph Weasel and Dr. Weasel. Carrington Goose is Abvik Goose. Garrett Try as Mr. Starter, Miss Flipper as Commander Flamingo, Mrs. Lava as the Grumpy Lift, and Elliot Stupor Stewart as Mr. Teflon.